I was talking to some of the farmers <laughs> earlier, and they were telling me that their parents and grandparents used to use the river to irrigate their lands. But what we're seeing here is a massive expansion over the past two to three years. From less than 10 hectares of land that was being irrigated, we're now up to between 350 and 500 hectares of land. They've also extended the types of crops that they grow here. Before it was just onions and garlic. Today they're growing fruits, they've got guava trees, they've got papaya, as well as lots of different other types of vegetables, carrots, tomatoes, cabbage, I mean, you name it, they're growing it here. And this has a huge impact on the nutritional status of children because they're not only growing it to sell, they're also growing it for their own consumption. Less than 5% of irrigable land in Africa is currently being irrigated. What this means is a huge loss in potential cultivation and production of food. This scheme here is an example of what can happen if we can get these basic simple investments in agricultural production. We can foster uh, agricultural revolution on the continent.